Have you ever found yourself staring at a table of numbers, wondering how to convert them into a more readable format? If you've been struggling with converting minutes into hours and minutes, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle this SQL conversion challenge together. I totally get it. Dealing with raw data can be overwhelming, especially when you just want to make sense of it. You're not alone in this. Many people face similar challenges when working with databases. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, how do I convert a column of numeric values representing minutes into a more user-friendly format of hours and minutes? They provided some examples from their database, and it sounds like a common issue many encounter. So what's the best way to approach this? You can indeed convert minutes into hours, but you need to handle values less than one minute carefully. We'll break down the steps to ensure you get accurate results. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a handy SQL tip that will make your data conversions even easier. To convert the number of minutes into the HHMM format, the user can start by creating a SQL query that divides the total minutes by 60 to get the hours. Next, the user should calculate the remaining minutes by taking the modulus of the total minutes with 60. This will give the minutes portion of the time. Now the user can combine both the hours and minutes into a formatted string. This can be done using the concat function in SQL. Finally, the user can filter out any values that are less than one minute, as they want to treat those as zero minutes. Fun fact, did you know that the average person spends about 2.5 hours a day just waiting for their computer to load? Let's make sure you're not wasting any more time with your data. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach provided by a user involves using the floor function in SQL. They suggest creating a sample data table to store the minutes, and then using a select statement to convert those minutes into hours and minutes format. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else. This user provides an alternative SQL solution for converting minutes to HHMM format. They use a common table expression to create sample data and then calculate hours, minutes, and seconds from the course access minutes. The user also mentions that you could convert the final result to a time data type, which supports a range of values. This allows for precise time representation. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. An alternative approach suggests converting minutes to hours and minutes by dividing the total minutes by 60. You can use the floor function to get the whole hours. Then to find the remaining minutes, use the modulus operator with 60. If you want to include seconds, keep the floor function and calculate seconds by subtracting the floored minutes from the total minutes, then multiplying by 60. Here's a pro tip. Always validate your results after running your queries. It's a simple step that can save you from potential errors down the line. And there you have it. You now know how to convert minutes into a more readable format of hours and minutes in SQL. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips, and don't forget to check out our next video for more SQL tricks.